Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited that it is October, which means we get to start doing our Halloween makeup videos, which I'm so excited for. This is my second year doing these Halloween makeup tutorials. Um, I'll link all of last year's videos down below. It was so fun to do last year and I just had so much fun getting super creative with coming up with different Halloween costume ideas and I have some super special ideas for you this year. Today's video is just going to be the first of many Halloween tutorial videos this month and we're going to start off nice and easy. I'm going to be showing you two easy latex makeup ideas that you can basically tailor to however in depth you want to go with your costume. You can go super simple um, or you can go super elaborate with it. But these are two techniques using latex that I feel anybody can do um, as long as you have just a little bit of patience. And let's get right into the first video. For the first Halloween costume, I'm going to be creating vampire bite marks using liquid latex. This is a super easy beginner intro to using latex um, and from those skills you can kind of build on um, and get a little bit more complex with the latex. I am using Marin's liquid latex and this is in light flesh. They do have a couple different colors or you can go clear. Um, I wanted to give the colored one a try and see how well it actually matches skin tone. So this is what we're going to be using today. So let's zoom you in. Oh lord. Okay. So here is what the bottle looks like and it does come with a little brush inside, which is awesome. If not, you could always use a spatula or you could use a Q-tip if you have nothing else. So this is very thin. So all I'm doing is I'm just laying down some dots of the liquid latex and we're just gonna let it dry. So you can take these uh, different latex ideas and cater them to your costume however you want. You can go full-blown costume to just wearing your regular clothes, which is what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm just gonna keep it super simple, wear my own clothes and show you how just a little bit of latex, a little bit of makeup, and you can have a super simple costume. So you can see that this is kind of drying around the edge. So I'm gonna see if I can kind of mold this a little bit. So right now it just looks like a couple dots. Okay. Okay, so all I'm trying to do right now is create kind of little divots in the latex to where like the fangs would go in. We're just creating texture, that's all we're doing. And you see it's kind of like peeling back on itself. That's a good thing, because then it's gonna look like you've actually got punctured skin. All right. So that's kind of where we're at right now. We're gonna let that completely dry. Okay, so while that is drying, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed through some cool makeup ideas. We're gonna play with um, a couple other Marin products. And of course we've got Vampire Blood. Let's go ahead and do some fabulous makeup and then we'll do the finishing touches on our bites and our costume will pretty much be done. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so all I did was create a super simple smoky eye, a bright red lip, and by now this is completely dried. So we're gonna take our toothpick again. So we're gonna take our toothpick again and just make sure it's a little sticky, but it looks like it'll work. All right, so let me zoom you in and I'll show you how to finish this off. So I bought this bruise makeup. This is from Mia Kali. And what I'm basically using this mostly for is these two purples. I'm gonna be taking these super tiny flat brushes and I'm gonna line around the inside of the wounds with this purple. So we're just gonna go in with this. And we're just gonna tap it around the inside perimeter of the wound. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Okay, and all that's doing is just creating a little bit of a shadow. There is a deeper shade right here that I'm gonna go into as well. And we're just gonna try and deepen up a couple places, just a couple smaller places. Okay. So you see how we're just kind of creating a shadow. Okay, so now I'm gonna create kind of like some bruising a little bit and again, some depth around the outside of those cuts or those bite marks, I should say. So I am gonna go in with this like maroon color and with a really light hand I'm just gonna kind of tap in a couple places around the outside just to kind of give a little bit of depth and bruising around the outside. And then this is also covering up some of that latex that didn't quite match my skin color. Okay, so I'm gonna call that done. <laughs> this is super simple. We used just a little bit of the bruising colors. And now the fun part. We are gonna play with the blood. So this is the Marin's Coagulated Blood. So this is a little bit thicker than this big guy that you get by the gallon at the grocery store. So, oh geez. So let me show you what this looks like. Oh, it's like a syrup. So let me, I don't, oh, that is a brush. There is a brush in here. So I'm gonna take my little brush here and just kind of grab just a little tiny bit. And then we're just gonna tap this into the center there. Just like that. Love the effect that gives. That looks like a deep like wound. I don't wanna fuss with this too much. But I think I am gonna let it drip just a little bit down. And then we're gonna take this stuff right here. This is just vampire blood. I bought this at our local store. We're gonna see how this looks first in comparison to the coagulated blood. Okay, so I'm just gonna take like a spatula here. Just dip down and see what this looks like. Okay, so this is very runny. So all I'm doing is just dripping something like that. That does taste nasty. Cause I do want it to just run a little bit. We're gonna just let it stop right there. And because it's not as deep a color as I want it to be, I am gonna go back into that coagulated blood. All right, so I'm just gonna go back into my little brush here and I'm just gonna Add 
a little bit of depth right there. So this is it folks. It literally took us maybe 20 minutes to do. And the longest part was just waiting for the latex to dry, which you can do the rest of your makeup while you're waiting for that to happen. If you do decide to use this technique, make sure you follow me over on Instagram and tag me on any pictures that you post of your Halloween costumes using uh, this kind of vampire theme. So I'm super excited to share this with you guys. Again, super easy. So for look number two, we are going to create a slit throat. I'm just showing this to you to give you just a little bit more of a step up in your latex game. So let's go ahead and get started on how we are going to create this kind of slit throat. And I'm going to take a piece of toilet paper and I'm gonna kind of cut it to size. So I'm just cutting a little strip here so the reason I want to use toilet paper is because it has multiple layers in it and that is going to help us to uh, create a base for the latex to adhere to and then for us to rip and pull layers away. I've just got my piece like this that looks about good size wise. I might trim this a little bit thinner. Okay, just like that. And I'm just gonna kind of follow, I've got a crease in my neck like this, so I'm just gonna kind of follow that. But what you need to do is you need to lay down a layer of latex first so that the tissue paper has something to adhere to. So again, I'm just dipping into my latex here and we're just gonna lay down a super quick layer. Uh, we're just gonna stick that on our neck. It looks beautiful and I think I am going to take off just a little bit of this end over here and over here on this side. Now we are just going to cover the whole thing with latex. And you're going to want to put the latex over the edges so you see how I'm going over the toilet paper just to kind of feather everything out. I like this latex a lot better than the latex I used last year. That was in like a tube and it was a little hard to work with. Okay, looks absolutely terrible. And now is the waiting game of getting it to dry. So I'm going to take my handy dandy hair dryer and we're going to speed this process up a little bit. So you can see it actually is kind of drying into my skin color, which is kind of nice. Um, this stuff dries so much quicker than the stuff I used last year. And again, this is the Marin liquid latex and this is in the color light flesh. So I think this was like maybe $8. I'll link everything down below. <clears throat> but yeah, I definitely think if you're going to play around with latex of any kind for any kind of special effects makeup, I would splurge and get, get this. This is amazing. So I'm just going to do a, another coat just to get that layering of liquid latex down and actually gives some like depth to that uh, toilet paper that's underneath. Okay, simple as that. Layer number two. <clears throat> me. Let's go back to the hair dryer. All right, I'm just going to take, I've got this like little mixing spatula and I'm just gonna start poking in here if I can without actually stabbing. <laughs> So, uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm opening up a layer of the toilet paper, cut into it, and get kind of underneath. I know this looks really 
promise it's not hurting I promise um, I'm just trying to cut through the latex and the toilet paper and just kind of lifting and just cutting a rip I may have done one layer too many on this. And then we're gonna start peeling back the top and the bottom away from that slit. Pull on some of the latex a little bit so that like we're creating like the skin is split but we're just creating like I said, a lot of texture and that's where we're at okay so we've got our slit we've got our folds of skin I've got an extra long piece right there and now we're gonna add the detailing so just like with the first look, we're going to go in with our palette here. We're going to start to define some of the depth in here. So I'm going to start by just kind of taking this cranberry shade and we're just going to kind of give the inside of the slit a once over with this shade. And now we're going to start building depth by going in with the darker, darker purple shades. And we're just going to stick around to the edge. Okay. And then there's an even darker shade. So I'm going to get that in there and just do like some really deep contrast and like the corners and even like in the center here now we're going to start to build up some texturing around the scarring going back in with that cranberry shade and just kind of tapping around here And all of this is just to kind of create some depth and I'm covering up. You could see some of the white of the tissue paper right there. So I'm just going to cover that and we're just going to kind of outline where that slit is. And again, you can get as detailed as you want with this. You can you could almost leave it like this if you really wanted to. So that's where we're at so far. It looks okay. It doesn't look too bad. So like I said, you could almost stop here. But if you really want to amp it up, you're going to take your coagulated blood from Marin. And I've just got my little flat brush. I really love this flat brush um, for this makeup. And we're just going to start painting that into the slit. So that looks pretty good so far. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can play around with uh <clears throat> with our vampire's blood again this is something if you want to go full gore with like the blood spilling down you are going to want to wear a shirt you do not care about um because I, I don't think this is going to come out of your clothes very well i have not tested it yet but i'm just going to go out on a limb and say that that's probably going to stain your clothes i'm going to go grab a cup real quick i have a watercolor water tray. So I'm going to put this into my little tray here. 
just going to do about that much. I don't want to tip it too far because this stuff is really runny. I'm going to totally ruin this shirt. Ooh, I do have a paper towel here. Let me, let me try and do this. Okay. Now we're going to just dip in here. I'm dripping this all over the place. This is a higher red color than the coagulated blood. So we're just going to kind of drip and let this kind of run and do its own thing. It's going down my shirt. I'm doing so I'm just adding to the drips and letting them run. Oh, that's going down my shirt. Ah. I said, shirt you don't care about. So while this is kind of doing its own thing and we're letting it dry, let me throw out a couple ideas of what you can do with the actual slit throat as, a, as far as a costume. You could wear your normal makeup and just be a bloody hot mess with your slit throat. You could be a bride. You have your uh, bride or bridesmaid's dress that you never wear or you don't have an occasion to wear again. This is the perfect opportunity to use that and um, be a dead bride or a dead bridesmaid or dead prom queen, something like that. Um, if you have a foundation that is too late for you, you could utilize it at this point and make yourself really washed out like blood loss. Oh, this is going down my shirt. Anyways, you can use that lighter foundation to make yourself look like a ghost of some sort and wash your face out. Um, but yeah, use your creativity. Definitely, again, like with the first look, if you do decide to create this on your own, please take pictures and post them on Instagram and tag me at Janet's Review Box because I'd love to see what Halloween ideas you come up with using these. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. This is super fun for me. I love coming up with Halloween costume ideas. I am definitely running way behind this year than I was last year. Um, we've just been a little bit busier. We've had colds, we've had illnesses. Life basically just kind of got in the way and got away from me and now it's the second week in October and I've only put up one video. But hopefully having the two looks makes up for it um, for you guys. So stay tuned for more Halloween costume ideas and makeup ideas. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up button. If you have any suggestions for me on any other makeup tutorials for Halloween costumes you want me to try, um, definitely leave them in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Um, I'm kind of drawing a blank this year on what to do. Uh, I have a couple ideas, but nothing set in stone. So sound off in the comments down below what you want to see from me. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you have a spooky October. Bye.